First thing to do is sewing outer pocket, outer fabric face up, inner fabric face down. Seam allowance is one centimeter. Flip it over and top stitch. Now, outer pocket is ready. This is the main front. The outer pocket you've done goes on the middle of this piece. Match it with the bottom of the line. I'm going to use this webbing as a handle. Line them up straight and then pin it one and a half inches down from the top of the line. You need to sew from here to here. Make sure the handle isn't twisted and then straight the other side. I'm going to sew from here to go up, cross and down. It's time to sew back main body. Bring the front piece in order to match the webbing. Once again, make sure the webbing isn't twisted. Now we need to join the bottom. I quilted this before the lesson. First, right side together and sew the bottom. Then you need to top stitch close to edge. Bring the front piece and again right side together so on the bottom. Open it up and top stitch. Here we go, the main bag is done. Now we need to sew the side. This is a side I quilted before the lesson. Right side together, match the top. Once again, the seam allowance is one centimeter.
carry on sewing until 1 cm remaining at the end of the side piece. Now, on some side, need to match with the front. Make sure stop when you reach 1 cm remaining. Bottom seams need to match like that and sew so cross. Fold backward. Okay, you've done one side. So, you are going to repeat the other side. Okay, turn it right side out. You have finished the outer. This is inner bag. You need to sew it with a top liner. Flip it over and top stitch. You need to do same thing on the other side. This is the inner pocket. I am using a different fabric for the contrast. We are going to leave a gap here. Forward and backward. Cut the edges, don't cut the thread line. Turn inside out, push all the corners. Push the seam from the gap into the wrong side and press it. I'm gonna top stitch here one centimeter down from the top edge as a symbol of a top pocket. The pocket goes to inner about two centimeters down from the joint line. Here we go, the inside the pocket is done. We'll join a side panel now. Exactly the same as outer.
leave the one centimeter down here The other side is slightly different. I'm gonna leave a gap from here to here. It's about five inches. Forward and back part. Now we have finished the inner. We are going to put the magnetic clubs here. I'm going to make a mark in halfway and then pin it. I will put ironing on, cotton interfacing in here. Position a washer in the middle and then make a mark. Fold it half and then give a little snips on the marks and insert one of the magnetic between the snips. Before I insert the washer, I will add a foam for extra support. Insert the washer and push the legs into the middle. The other magnetic clubs need to go on the other side. magnetic on here and make a mark on the fabric. Snip and repeat from previous stage. Now, outer goes into the inner. Outer bag has to be right side out. Inner bag has to be wrong side out. Make sure inner bag goes right way. Pocket normally goes back of the bag.
Match the side panels together and pin them. Make sure both the handles go inside. Before we sew them together, we need to put D-ring loops for shoulder straps. These loops are about 5 inches. Put D-ring into the webbing and fold it in half. Put it in between outer and inner, then match the old edges together. Now it's ready to sew around the top. Sew slowly when you pass the webbing. Go forward, backward, couple of times. Remove the pins before you reach the pin, otherwise you may break your needle. Now, Turn it right side out. Make sure you push all the corners out. Now we're gonna mending the gap. Fold backwards from beginning and end. Right! Push the inner into the outer. We are nearly there. It's time to top stitch. One side of the webbing goes through this slider.
then feed through one of the D ring and it comes back to back of the slider. Pull them together and edge of the webbing fold about 1 inch and sew it. The other end of the webbing goes through the other D-ring and sew it. Finally, you made it! Well done!